Hey, how's it going guys? This is Santi with Stack Trading and in this video we're going to be talking about the swing trade of the week. Now before I jump right into it, please don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel and turn on that post notification bell so you can continue seeing content like this from us in the future. So jumping right into the swing trade of the week, we're going to have to give it to Twitter, right? On June 22nd, uh, we were able to call this out. We alerted this to our subscribers and I told all of our subscribers that I will be looking to go long into this stock if we were to get above the high of the previous day, which was June 21st. That high was $62.09. I told them that the first price target was $64 and the second price target was $65.50. The stop loss was $60.85, which was the low of uh, June 21st. All right, guys, so now let's look into the chart and see why I noted these specific price points. So as we can see here on June 21st, we saw that the stock actually traded above all of its daily moving averages. So we have the 50, the 20, the 8 of May, and the 200 period moving averages trading below the actual price of the stock. Right, that is very bullish for any stock, any market that you're looking at. You always want to see these moving averages below the price of the actual stock or underlying asset if you're trying to go long, right? That'll give you some more conviction that the actual move will be going in your direction to the upside, right? So not only that, another technical analysis thing that you could look at is these gaps, right? So we see back from April 29th to April 30th, we see this large gap down. And this gap down occurred due to Twitter's earnings, right? So they announced their earnings. The following day, the stock opened much lower than where it had closed. So we see this big gap. After this gap occurred, we see that the stock actually traded down a little bit more. And then it started having this upward trend uh, as the weeks continued. But as I mentioned, the averages were still catching up to the uh, stock price, right? So after some long consolidation, we saw that the stock was actually now trying to break out from this consolidation and we have this uh, gap that should be filled, right? So obviously when there's a, a gap, it's not a proven science that it should get filled, but specifically if, it, if the gap happens to the downside, you know, over time, a stock, especially if it's a good company such as Twitter, we should see that gap filled eventually, right? So that's one of the first things that I looked at. So if we look at the low of this candle, we see that that low is $63.99. You could see that up here in the top left, right? So this low was that first price target, right? So I said that the first price target was $64. And let's see what happened on June 22nd, which was the day that the trade was alerted. We see that the stock actually rallied that day and we reached a high of $64.05. So within one day, that same day of the stock being alerted, we actually reached our first price target. That is extremely uh, good for any trader that trades options, right? Because the data, the time decay in options will not go against you if you actually sell within that same day. Obviously, depending on which expiration date you choose, but as we teach all of our subscribers, if you are going to swing a trade, you wanna get a decent amount of time in that trade in case you wanna hold it overnight. So in that first day, we reached our first price target. Now, the second day being today, we see that the stock continued to rally without any major pullback. So we didn't have to worry about being stopped out and we actually reached our second price target within uh, another day from the stock being alerted right so again this is what we want to see if we are trying to swing a, a stock using call options or put options right whichever type of option you're trying to get whether it's to the upside or the downside we want to see that move happening quickly that way time decay does not go against us as much and as fast right so within two days of seeing 
both price targets met that's what we want and our subscribers were happy to take profits at these levels right although my second price target was 65.50 we actually traded above this uh, price today we reached a high of 66 dollars and 77 cents but profit is profit right we can't always get the top for every single trade but at least we got it happening very quick and we got the move that we wanted we got the the gap that was filled and we reached the second price target soon after that all right guys so this was the swing trade of the week and again guys please don't forget to give us a subscribe hit that like button and turn on that post notification bell so you could continue seeing posts like this from us in upcoming weeks all right guys catch you in the next one